afternoon everyone uh, thanks nishad for invite me over here uh, i have been in oman for the past uh, more than uh, more than 30 years now see when you said the road to 2040 that was the theme which you had given so i was just uh, going through some statistics and found that you know in 1970 let us start 52 years the gdp of oman was 256 million and that time we had a population of around 675000 675000 and a gdp of 256 million today after 52 year, i mean 50 51 years we look at the statistics again the population has gone up by around close to seven times okay we have a population of around 4.5 million yeah but when you look at the gdp this 256 million has gone up by 350 times today it stands at 856 million dollars or you know it will be around uh, 80 i mean 37 38 uh, billion riyal see the transformation so why i put the uh population and the gdp is to understand that you know the population has only grown you know very little seven times in the last 52 years whereas the gdp has gone up that much so it shows that you know throughout this 52 years there has been lot of developments which are happening there was a lot of technology which has been introduced into the country there has been lot of upskilling the you know the local people and you know there are more and more brains have been brought into this country they have adopted they borrowed the technologies they borrowed the best technologies and that is how they have reached up to this level then you have to see one more thing you know you are talking about the policies and thing first you have to start it from the priorities of each country each country has their own priority if you know if i see a, a big uh, bangla when uh, uh, wave 5 million 10 million you know i am got satisfied with my whatever i have and you know, the thing is what i am trying to say is you should not be uh, overtaken by what you see in other other places you know you create what you want okay and the the course which oman has adopted now this 2040 vision what does it mean this 2040 vision is what will take oman to from a developing country to a developed nation we will see that you know all the parameters of a developed uh, country mostly most of them oman is already complied already you know outpassed like you know the uh, average age of citizens the average age of citizens in worldwide i think it's uh, 75 now we have 78 with the mortality rate you know oman is uh, as on now it is around 6.35 whereas in developed countries it is even uh, 10 okay so there are so many factors in which we have uh, we are we are eligible to be considered as a developed country but this 2040 vision case care of there are certain you know shortcomings to reach that point the first thing is you know the inclusive growth we have been emphasizing on inclusive growth uh, till you know for last I, I, as i said i am 30 years now i see this word being used in this uh, country for the last 7 uh, 8 years now we are all talking about inclusive growth inclusive growth and now Uh, I, you ask the question to him ICT development of ICT so what does this inclusive growth means the our 2040 vision it takes care of all these points like you know they have uh, formed one medium term fiscal plan that medium term fiscal plan uh, focuses on five six core in areas in which the economy should uh, focus more and more to bring more investors you know and it's also a guideline for the investors so ready guideline that you know see we are going to proceed in this direction if you want to come come i mean this is what it is laying down you know so then followed by that we are in the 10th five year plan of oman 
And if you look at the plan also, we will see that, you know, the one is the inclusive, inclusive uh, development of Oman, and then you will see the, uh, the upscaling, the skill set of the people. It's not only skill set, upscaling the skill set of people. It is says that, you know, it, you have to make the Omani youth competent, not only locally, internationally also. Okay. And to that, to that extent, they have also said, we will upskill them through uh, digitalization, I mean, digitalization of the education policies. So in each way, we can see that, you know, the, the focus and the pathway to the 2040 is uh, very streamlined, very much streamlined. And the, you, if you see the uh, new reviews by the IMF or the World Bank who is coming here and seeing, the, you will see the, uh, the results of the last two, three years, what is going on here. You know, the, although we had about in 2021, our, uh, uh, this, uh, this was around 3.1 uh, deficit it was, you know. And then, it, uh, that was not estimated. And then, in the 22, when they came for the review, they are now targeting that, you know, Oman may, okay, it might be a 6% uh, surplus. 6% of the GDP could be the surplus in Oman. That means, you know, from 1.5 billion deficit which was estimated, now as per September 22, uh, we are almost uh, 2.4 million, uh, I mean, sorry, uh, one point, uh, uh, same amount we are in surplus instead of the deficit. So we have um, progressed very well, and I think that, you know, the, the policies uh, and the uh, government's uh, efforts to streamline the economy by, you know, they have laid down certain things, empowering, I don't know, the boosting the female employment uh, opportunity, that is one thing which they have uh, emphasized on. And then uh, another thing which uh, the, the government is uh, emphasizing is on to attract the foreign investment. As uh, Mr. Mohammed also said, uh, the foreign investment, you know, when we are talking about attracting foreign investment, I have a few words to say, you know, we have to look to see, you know, what is going wrong till now and what can be the best steps which we can take going forward. So the first, uh, you know, one point which comes to me is, you know, there should be, I, I also feel, you know, although I say that, you know, the, uh, the everything is going on smooth, but it could be better. Like, you know, there could be some flexibility in the labor policies, of course. Okay, we are all waiting for the new labor law to come out. Uh, uh, so there could be something uh, in that which can be, which can give more confidence to the investors. And for some additional things, I should say that, you know, as a uh, tax consultant, as an auditor, I will say that, you know, for new, new industries which are coming into Oman, you know, in most of the countries in the tax law, there are something like, you know, tax holidays or this holiday, you know, that thing. Like that, you know, at least give them an Omanization holiday. Okay, let them, uh, you know, uh, have a good foundation so that, you know, they can employ more and more people, you know. So this is my uh, a little bit of uh, suggestion, which could be, go a long way in improving the situations. Excellent thoughts, uh, Davis.